Well, I think New Zealand has a trend of you know, strong participation at a junior level, and particularly in netball, that's where our strength is. But as kids are getting older, we across the board in sport are seeing a drop off, and, and that's really concerning for us all. Kids want to have fun, they want to have fun with their mates, and that's what they keep telling us. Uh, so let's start listening to them a little bit more. Evidence is showing that early specialisation, overtraining, and overloading is leading to a dropout and a drop in satisfaction. We want to address that. Human beings, we're all competitive, kids are competitive and of course they want to win and that's great. But we've got to have the balance, we've got to um, just not cater for winning, we've got to have fun as well and people enjoy being sociable and having time with their mates. It's about not locking kids out from a sport at too young an age, not telling them that they have to uh, train and, and solely participate in one sport. It's about capturing that competitive spirit and making sure it's uh, used to keep them playing the game. We want to provide the right sort of um, environment for all kids to perform. You know, some are going to be better at different ages and stages than others, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be a long run um, success marker. So we've got to make sure that we um, create the right sort of frameworks for people at whatever ability and whatever stage they're at. Look, in the end of the day, the talented kids are always going to come through. You know, we're really important that we want to be able to feed our high performance system with pipeline of good kids. Uh, this is actually about keeping as many kids in that talent pool as we can so they can find their, their feet. But equally we want those kids that trying to be the best they be may not end up going on to be a silver fern or an all black. We want them to be in sport and stay in sport for all the goodness that comes from that.